Well, I moved to America about 25 years ago to uh, try to improve and I'd like to say that I had this grand plan of staying in America and then going to the Olympics and all that, but it was just a, a, an idea to come and try and improve and uh, met a cute girl and ended up getting married here and I'm still here now 25 years later. My first Olympics was uh, Atlanta and being on the Australian team, but being based here in a, the US was an incredible feeling, an incredible time. Uh, then going back to Sydney and uh, being on the Australian team there and winning a gold medal it was pretty cool. And then obviously to, uh, you know, to keep going through all the Olympics, they all had highlights, but uh, to end up in Rio and having successful games there individually was incredible as well. For the six-time Olympian, the imposing old-school cross-country track was to prove hugely influential in the medal outcome. We walked across country and we thought, wow, this is a really tough uh, cross country. And, you know, traditionally the last few Olympics haven't been that strong in the cross country. They've been a little bit softer. And uh, Mighty Nice was actually my second choice of horse. The first one uh, that was meant to go got hurt. And, uh, but Mighty Nice has always been my best cross country horse. And so, you know, as soon as I got there, I thought, wow, I'm, somebody's been looking after me here because uh, to have him on that course at Rio was. Uh, very lucky for me and uh, it's a long hard struggle you know you have to get through and do a you know the, a great dressage test to stay competitive there's no point in just having a great cross-country horse or a great show jumping horse you've got to have a horse that is good in all three phases and uh, Mighty Nice did his personal best he got a 43 so you know we weren't certainly in the lead but we weren't too far off the lead um, and then I was last to go on the cross-country for our team and uh, you know it didn't go well, Boyd Martin did well but then the other two guys had bits of bad luck and so I was really just riding it for an individual because our team wasn't going to be able to complete and I didn't have much to lose except just go out there and give it my best so we put it all on the line, we didn't leave anything uh, outside of the course, we just gave it our all. I think we were in fifth after uh, cross country and then there was two rounds of show jumping and it's fair to say Mighty Nice hasn't been the best show jumper in the past and, uh, but we've been working really hard at it and I remember um, riding down to this arena to go in and you know you're your heart's in your throat and you can barely breathe and I'm thinking, God, I hope, uh, hope all this training's paid off and he went in there and bless his heart, he jumped beautifully and jumped a clean round and moved up to fourth and uh, then on the last round we had one more round to go and by this stage the, you know, they've been through a lot so he's just trying to keep him together and hope that he's fit enough for it and uh, he had one pole down which I thought hoping I'd stay in fourth and then I watched the person in third until he had two fences to go and the last two jumps were not coming down at all and uh, so I walked away and next thing I heard everybody screaming and I looked over and Evie's crying and uh, the poor guy had hit the last two jumps and they moved up to bronze so the cross country you know really shook the, the standings up and I was fortunate to, to move up a long way and it's a dream come true. There's no doubt in Philip's mind that his individual Olympic bronze medal was definitely down to a team effort with Mighty Nice. You know, when you look at him, he's like a poster child of the, the most beautiful horse. He's like a model and he's very friendly, uh, like he virtually never puts his ears back. He's pretty laid back, but when it comes to competing, he's a real athlete. He loves the sport. Um, and uh, he was owned by a very special friend of mine, Bruce Duchessois, and unfortunately he passed away, but uh, we've, I've been fortunate to put a group of Bruce's friends together and so we're carrying on Bruce and my dream of Mighty Nice and uh, you know, he's 12 year old now and this is obviously his highlight was the Olympic Games. Yeah, so it's great to feel that everybody's opinion of him and the horse, um, he, he was able to have a great result like this and hopefully he'll have more in the future.